Hey, what's up guys, it's Phone Tech over here. In this video, I'm gonna be comparing an iPad mini 4 to an iPad mini 2. The mini 4 has uh, an A8 processor with two gigabytes of RAM, oh, I mean clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, whereas the iPad mini 2 has um, an A7 processor and clocked at 1.3 gigahertz with one gigabyte of RAM only. Both are running iOS 11 there, 11.0 basically. And uh, Yep, I'm going to show you there. So yeah, 11.0, 11.0. So let's see how these two perform. First up, calendar. Yeah, it looked faster on the Mini 4. Let's take some pics. Yep, it responded faster on the Mini 4 as well. Clock. Definitely the Mini 4. Maps, oh yeah, Mini 4 as well, and Mini 2 is taking some time there. Home, oh yeah, definitely faster than the Mini 4. It launched it immediately, whereas this had to load a bit. Reminders, faster than the Mini 4. Videos, definitely faster than the Mini 4 as well. Yeah, actually the Mini 2 is taking some time there, launching the apps. iTunes. And then let me create launch it there. And, uh, yep, Mini 4. App Store. Yep, Mini 4. Music app. Mini 4. Podcasts, definitely Mini 4 there, and um, it's weird that uh, the difference is that big because um, when I when I Apple actually announced the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, they said that the difference was only 25% over the faster over the A7, but actually it looks like it's more than 25% now, or probably because the iPad Mini 4 is clocked at 1.5 gigahertz, where the iPad Mini 4 uh, iPhone 6 was clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. So I get this 100 megahertz difference there. It actually does make a difference, as you can tell. So yeah, the game is playable far before the iPhone iPad Mini 2. Busted there. <laughs> and uh, now the Geekbench. Yep. I iPad Mini 4 feels like it responds immediately, whereas this takes the, it's hesitant for a second or so. To launch the app, just like an older device, like let's say an Android or something. With Android, I mean like old Androids. Yeah. Um, Jetpack. Definitely faster than the Mini 4. There. Speed test. Definitely faster than the Mini 4. So actually, on a daily basis, you're gonna feel a difference there that the Mini 4 is far more usable than the Mini 2 is. Which is sad to see because, uh, I mean, th this device was really cool like, two, three years ago. Actually, this one kept the app in the background where I just had to refresh it, the settings. And now Safari, both uh, gonna load up apple.com. So yeah, if you're actually trying to Open Safari, this one launches the Safari faster than actually takes some time to load, but yeah, again, it's a one year newer chipset. But this device is actually two years newer than I, 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 iPad Mini 2, but uh, basically the iPad Mini 3 had the same internals as the Mini 2, so it was basically the same, but only had an extra fingerprint scanner, that's it. So let's try some multitasking there on both devices. Taking consideration that this has two gigabytes of RAM, where this has only one. So uh, let's try Subway Surfers, or uh, let's try first like an older app, Maps for example. Yep, this one kept the app in the background. Well, this had to refresh it. Um, let's try now Subway Surf. Yep, actually both kept in the background, even this iPad mini with one gigabyte of RAM, amazing. And uh, let's try Jetpack. All right, yeah, this kept it in the background running where I just had to refresh it. Um, so yeah, one more thing is a Geekbench test there. 
and uh, can I just show you the multitasking there for a second on both devices because now uh, with the thanks to the two gigabytes of RAM on the iPad Mini Four, you can actually multitask simultaneously two apps in basically. But I mean, here for example on the Mini Two, you can't because for example dragging an app here on Safari, let's say Safari to Calendar. Uh, here you can use both apps simultaneously on the Mini Four, as you can see. Whereas in the Mini Two, you can only use one app. And the other one just freezes in the background, so uh, you can even drag down on the apps here. So when you do that, you can actually let go, and then you can have a split screen view, which is amazing. The, I know this feature was available in the uh, iOS 10 9 basically, but it's good to see it, and it looks a bit different now. And uh, now Geekbench. And here, if you notice, you have both apps together, which is neat. You can have that back in uh, iOS 10, I guess. So it's now that turn benchmark there. Plus it's a benchmark. And yeah, to sum it up, actually, iPad Mini 4 is a decent device even now in 2017. Um, if you're looking for a Mini, basically you don't have any other choice. This is the only device that Apple still sells. Whereas this is this was discontinued like uh, six months ago, I guess. Uh, but yeah. There is some difference there. You can actually tell even the camera is better on the Mini 4. So yeah, these are the scores, 1721 and for a single core score, 3095 for the multi-core score. Oh yeah, and this is the Mini 3 there, uh, Mini 2, basically the same thing, yeah. 1365, single core score, and 2443 on multi-core score. So basically there is some 600 for 650 difference between the multi-core scores on both devices and uh, 350 on a single core. So I actually do actually feel a difference and actually leaving apps feels faster on the Mini 4. So yeah, there you have it guys, Mini 4 versus Mini 2. Hope you liked the video guys, subscribe for more content and peace.